हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अणिमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री एंड केमिस्ट्री इन टेक्नोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ फ्लैश एंड फायर पॉइंट यूजिंग एबल्स क्लोज्ड कप एपरेटस but before i explain this video to you i would like you to please subscribe to my channel and also to share my videos among your friends this video will also be very helpful to the students who want to test the lubricating oils for the determination of flash and fire point using ables apparatus so let's start in the beginning i will first tell you the construction of the ables apparatus followed by the working of the apparatus with its neat and clean diagram and then i will explain to you how to record the observations in the observation table and the concluding remarks so let's begin with the construction of the ables apparatus as you can see in the image of the ables apparatus that it is made up of a stainless steel cylinder this cylinder is double walled and it is fitted with an electric heater inside this cast iron stand there is a space or i should say a cavity in the stainless steel cylinder where the brass cup containing the lubricating oil under test is kept and this brass cup is provided with three openings one opening is to insert the thermometer another opening is to insert the mechanical stirrer and the third opening is provided with a shutter that could be slided out and bringing a flame near the mouth of the brass cup where the vapors are being formed when we heat the lubricating oil the inner wall of the stainless steel water bath and the brass cup there is a air gap which acts as the air bath we can fill the water in the stainless steel cylinder with the help of this funnel and there is a small opening on the opposite side of this funnel so that the excess water which is overflowing can come out of the water bath and we can maintain the level of the water in the water bath let's see the image in this figure and understand it better so here as i explained to you this stainless steel cylinder you can see this is the stainless steel cylinder this is the outer wall and this is the inner wall of the stainless steel cylinder through the funnel the water is filled in the water bath and in this cavity the brass cup containing the oil is inserted is capped this is provided with an opening to introduce the mechanical stirrer another opening for inserting the thermometer and this is the shutter which can be slided out to open the mouth of the brass cup so 
in this transverse section of the mouth of the brass cup you can see it very clearly that when this shutter is slided outside a small gap is created that is the opening of the brass cup into a very very small gap here the shutter is provided with a small device in which the flame is brought close to the vapors which are present here near the mouth of the brass cup in this small gap when this shutter is opened the cup bends down along with the flame and if the vapors are enough and are close to the production of small spark you can see the flash point by raising the temperature beyond the flash point slowly and bringing the flame after every 2 degree rise in temperature you can record the fire point and here you can see the entire thing is kept on the electric heater which is kept inside the cast iron case so let's see how the abels apparatus works if you are performing an experiment to determine the flash and fire point using abels closed cup apparatus so what are the things required what are the apparatus required and what are the reagents required it's the test sample whose flash and fire you have to determine and you need the abels apparatus with the apparatus the stirrer and the thermometers they are provided so you don't have to buy another thermometer or stirrer to use the abels apparatus so when you are working on this apparatus first you have to take the oil in the brass cup up to the mark there is a small mark inside the wall of the brass cup till that mark you have to fill the oil under test then insert this brass cup in the stainless steel cylinder in the cavity provided insert the thermometer and then stir it and close it with the help of shutter the shutter is sliding so you can open it by sliding it outside and close it by sliding it inside the cup fill the stainless steel water bath with the water with the help of this funnel which is inbuilt in this apparatus up to the mark and start the heater now the heater should be adjusted in such a way that there should be a rise in temperature of about 1 to 2 degree centigrade per minute keep stirring the lubricating oil so that the temperature of the oil remains uniform throughout the experiment now when the temperature reaches around 15 to 17 degree centigrade slide the shutter and bring the flame which is provided in the burner pilot burner in the shutter there is a small thread which you can soak in any oil and burn it so that it burns with a very small flame by opening the shutter this burner will automatically go down and if enough vapors are there and it has reached the flash point you will see a small spark along with a click sound a rattle sound record this temperature as the flash point if the flash point is not reached close it quickly and with another 1 or 2 degree rise in temperature again open it and 
see if the flash point is reached. Once the flash point is recorded, keep raising the temperature using the electric heater and don't stop the stirring of the oil. Record the fire point using the same technique as you have done for recording the flash point by sliding the shutter and opening the mouth of the brass cup till you see a flame burning for at least 5 seconds and this temperature is recorded as the fire point. So the limitation of the apparatus is that it gives best results in the range of 35 to 75 degrees centigrade. The lubricating oil whose flesh point is lower than 50 degrees centigrade is used in measuring the flesh and fire point of the test samples using the Abel's apparatus. Because this is an indirectly heating apparatus. Here the lubricating oil is heated through the water bath. Therefore, the flesh and fire point of lubricating oils which are low only can be measured using the Abel's apparatus. If the flesh and fire point of the lubricating oils are high, then we cannot determine it using the Abel's apparatus. Then we have to use another apparatus that is Pansky Martin closed cup apparatus where we can determine the flesh and fire point of the lubricating oils which are quite high. The precautions that should be taken while performing this experiment are that the shutter should be opened at regular intervals but it should not be kept open throughout. It should be immediately closed as soon as the observation is recorded. Also, there should not be any wind that can disturb the vapors of the lubricating oil. Now, one question can arise that how you can differentiate, how you will differentiate between the flame that you are bringing on the mouth and the fire point flame that burns for 5 seconds. So the answer is very simple. The flame which you are bringing on the mouth is like the candle flame. But the flame which burns for 5 seconds when the fire point is reached is bluish green in color. Because it is the vapors that catches fire. But the flame you are bringing is due to the burning of the lubricating oil or the edible oil which, in which you have immersed the thread. So it burns with the flame similar to the candle flame. So this is a big difference and very easy to differentiate between the two. Now how to record the flesh and fire point? Here I have shown you in the table to record the flesh and fire point. Draw a table with three columns and several rows. So you can start recording the temperature from 15 degree onwards. I have written here from 20 degrees onwards and a spark is seen at around 38 degrees. So this is the flesh point and the fire point is reached around 52 degrees where the Flame was seen burning for around 5 seconds. So the results are mentioned here that the flash point of the given oil is recorded as 38 degrees centigrade and the fire point is reco recorded as 52 degrees centigrade using the Abel's apparatus. You can also tell here the quality of the oil 
because a good quality lubricant should have the fire point far away from the flesh point. As you can see here, the flesh point is 38 degrees centigrade, but the fire point is quite far from the flesh point. So this oil whose flesh and fire point is recorded is a good quality lubricating oil. So this inference can be drawn using the flesh and fire point determination and you can easily determine the flesh and fire point on the Abel's apparatus simply by opening the mouth of the brass cup containing the lubricating oil heated on the water bath by sliding the shutter outside and then closing it. In the meantime, bringing the flame on the mouth and determining the temperature for flesh and fire point that is being seen by you. And this is how you determine the flesh and fire point. Hope you have understood this determination of flesh and fire point. Well, in my next, next video, I will explain to you the determination of flesh and fire point using Penske Martin apparatus. So keep watching and also don't forget to press the like button. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.